and welcome. This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate on YouTube and the Secret YouTuber on TikTok. In this video, I am giving you an updated version on the Amazon Associate Program. For the people who don't know me and are new to my channel, I have created over 300 different step-by-step -step video tutorials that show you how you can build a YouTube channel, create a WordPress website, social media marketing and content marketing, associates program and just recently hashtag you are the creator tutorials in which I show new authors how to create edit and publish a Kindle ebook and paperback are you a beginner and you just don't know where to start there are so many videos, there is so much information online, you want to try to cut through all of the red tape and only look for the information that you are looking for. If that is the reason that you tuned into this channel at this time, then you are in the right place and this is the right time for you. Don't have the money to start an Amazon business? No worries, it is free. Yes, there are other different programs out there in which they tell you that you need to start with at least $500 to $2,000. And yes, this, this is true. But if you don't have the money and you're just a beginner, then stick with me because I will give you the knowledge that you need to be able to start your business and start to make money right away. This knowledge that I will share with you, you do not have to pay for anything no money and no credit card just your time and awareness just take your time and put your awareness into learning the knowledge that you need first of all the first thing do you have a qualifying website that is one of the questions that Amazon will ask you when you start your account if you haven't even thought about creating a website then watch my playlist in which I show you how you can create a WordPress website. I am going to be doing updated videos on it, but you can watch those to start. I have your attention. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and show YouTube that you are new to the channel and that you like what I'm doing so that YouTube will send this video out into the universe to be seen by other people just like you. you feel that this video resonates with you then don't forget to like my video as well because that is also part of the algorithm that YouTube uses in its subscriptions likes comments don't forget to leave me a comment too and tell me whether you already are an Amazon associate or if you're just beginning and how I can help you today is the first day of the rest of your life I'm going to share all of my knowledge and experience with you before we get to the video in which I show you step by step how you can become an Amazon associate, I want to talk to you about the algorithm that I created. And I say I created it, but I actually just put it together. And this is what I used when I wrote my two books, The Project Mars, WCO Secret Agenda, and The Newbie's Journey Through the Self-Publishing Amazon Jungle. Algorithm starts with five laws of the universe that govern energy. The first law is the law of one. Everything is connected. You and I are now connected. We are now connected. Everything and everyone is connected. And this is the first law that will open up to all of the other laws that govern energy. Now, in my algorithm, I only talk about the five laws that govern energy that I feel are the most important, but there is between 20 to 80 different laws that govern energy that we are walking in every single day of our life. It's like we're swimming in this energy all the time and we just don't realize it. And this is the reason why I'm talking to you about this, because I truly believe it works. I truly believe that it works. Let's begin. The law of one, we are all connected to everything and everybody. The law of vibration, everything and everybody offers a vibration and a frequency. 
Check your vibration. How are you feeling? Are you feeling excited, happy, loving, grateful for your life? Or are you feeling down and depressed? The first one is high energy and high vibration and frequency. The second one is low energy and low vibration and frequency. This one is the law of attraction, which goes with the law of one and the law of vibration. The law of attraction specifically says that like will attract like, and you have probably heard about it. They say, okay, well, everything that you can think, you can see, you can believe, you can feel, and send it out to the universe, and keep it in your mind, and then this, is, this will be the law of attraction. But that's not all there is to the law of attraction. The law of attraction goes with the law of one and the law of vibration. The first element in my algorithm is the law of one. The second element in my algorithm is the law of vibration. The third element in my algorithm is a law of attraction. And the fourth element in the algorithm is a law of gratitude. Are you grateful? Are you feeling grateful? Are you feeling like you are so grateful? This is the highest level and vibration and frequency. Do you see how they all go together? The law of one, the law of vibration, the law of attraction, and the law of gratitude together. This is a very important part of the algorithm. I would say it's almost the most important part of the algorithm is the law of gratitude. Check yourself right now. How are you feeling? Are you feeling that we are connected? Are you giving out the vibration that you are attracting into your life what you want to attract into your life and not what you don't want to attract in your life? And are you grateful for something and this is the key you need to be grateful for something that hasn't happened yet you can be grateful for all that you have but you need to also feel that you're grateful for something that has not even happened yet that is the key and the fifth law is the law of cause and effect the law of cause and effect says everything has an original starting point whether it be starting in a negative or in a positive we have covered the five laws that I use in my algorithm. Next, we have believing. You need to believe down to your core that what you see, what you want as a desired outcome has already happened. See it. You need to visualize. The, the next element of the algorithm is visualizing. Can you see? Can you see your bank account? Can you see your bank account if you close your eyes? Can you see your bank account with a special number in it? That is the number that you want to see in your bank account. And money is energy and money flows. So getting into the vibration and the frequency of money is very important. So after you visualize, you need to feel. That's a feel that you, that how would you feel? How would you feel if you woke up in the morning and you turned and you checked your bank and you saw thousands of dollars more than what was in your bank account? Let's just start with 1,000. Maybe 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. Why stop there? The sky is the limit. When you start to raise your vibration, raise your level of awareness, and put that energy signal out to the universe, it will happen. Disclaimer, I can't guarantee that it will happen for you, but I can tell you that if you start to understand that we are in a world of energy and there are certain laws that govern the different energies that we are in and if we understand these laws and work with these laws then we will achieve our desired outcome and the next element in my algorithm now if you want to just see a short form of the algorithm it's the five laws of the universe plus B plus V plus F and the next one is action. So we need to take action. We need to do an action towards our desired outcome. We need to do an action towards our desired outcome. So let's 
Let's jump right into the computer. Now is the time for action. Find the link in the description so you can follow along with me. Come to one of the largest affiliate marketing programs in the world. The Amazon Associate Programs helps content creators, publishers, and bloggers monetize their traffic. With millions of products available on Amazon, associates use an easy link building tools to direct their audience to products they recommend and earn from qualifying purchases. So sign up, recommend, and earn. If you've clicked into the link, then you can follow along with me. Choose the sign up, click on sign up, create your Amazon account, your first name, your email that you would like to use, password, and password again, and choose create your Amazon account. Verify your email address. Enter a one-time password that you will find at your email address that you entered. Enter your one-time password to create your Amazon account. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. You have your payee name, and this is your legal name address, and this is important, your phone number. Who is the main contact for this account? The payee listed above or someone else? If you choose someone else, then you need to enter their information. For U.S. tax purposes, are you a U.S. person? In general, you are considered a U.S. person if you are a U.S. citizen, a U.S. resident, or an entity organized under the laws of you, the U.S. So I am not. So I would click no. If you are, you would click yes. Scroll down to the bottom. You will find next. Next is your website or your mobile app. Where do you find your URL? Go to your website and in the search bar on the top just click on the URL address copy the URL address and paste it into this box right here now if you don't have a website it's very easy to create a website and I will put all of the links in the description for you to be able to create a website for the rest of the people just follow along with me if you have a mobile app URL which was created at Amazon you can add it in here you would then click next here is your profile now this is important what is your preferred associate store ID you would add this in to this editing box. It will already have your website list or your mobile app list. What are your websites or mobile apps about? Describe your website, what type of content it offers, and also I put will also feature up-to-date relevant posts on a daily basis. Which of the following topics best describes your websites or mobile apps. So you go through all of these topics and decide which one will best describe it. So I'm just going to go with the manufacturer, publisher, author, artist. And as a secondary, I'm choosing books. You can go through this whole list here and decide what your website is about. Traffic and monetization. So how do you drive traffic to your websites? email do you pay for traffic as in paid search shopping portal offline display advertising social networks forums rebates seo blogs lead generation or other how do you utilize your websites and apps to generate income and here when you click on the downward arrow you can choose 
whichever one you are using or you can also choose Amazon Associates is the only way I monetize my site. Secondary, you can also choose other affiliate programs, display advertisement, widgets, e-commerce, subscription, and we can also choose widgets as well. How do you usually build links? Here you have a choice, content management system, HTML editor, manually via text editor, or other. I just put HTML editor as the easiest answer. How many total unique visitors does your website and apps get per month? So because this is a new website, it is less than 500. If you get more than 500, you'll choose the second one, more than 5,000, and be honest. What is your primary reason for joining the Amazon Associates program? And here is to get rich content for my site, to monetize my site or other. To monetize your site. And how did you hear about us? Blog post, Amazon website, online search, word of mouth. You could say either one of these. I'm just going to go with online search. And then here you want to type out the characters that you see. Next is the contract terms. Don't skip this. Make sure that you read it first. You could see this was updated on February 2022, and it tells you a description of the Amazon Associates program, the compliance requirements, Amazon customers, warranties, Identifying yourself as an associate. This one is important. You must always use a disclaimer if you are using an Amazon link. As an example, as an Amazon associate, I earn from quali qualifying purchases. It is required by law to identify yourself as an associate. And then the term and termination. So you read all of this information and it also has all of their disclaimers that you need to read. The limitations on liability, the on your relationship with us or any of affiliates will be subject to tax provision for the applicable Amazon site set forth in Schedule 3. Additional provisions. Modification. Schedules. And some more information here on governing law and disputes, tax provi uh, provisions, so make sure that you understand what this contract is. This is a legally binding contract. Don't get scared, just know what it means. So oh, after you agree the terms of the contract, you click on finish. Okay, so now you will have your unique ID. Now you need to enter your payment and tax information. And I'm just going to go through this very briefly so that you understand what you need to enter. So now I'm signing in. Always remember your password, then sign in. Okay. Here you can add your phone number or your, your cell number so this way, if you forget your password, you can just add it in. And you can add that now, or you can choose skip. If you choose to add it now, you will be sent a one-time password for your two-step verification. I'm just going to cancel and just sign in.
Okay, so now you will have your unique ID. Now you need to enter your payment and tax information. Always remember your password, write your password down. Congratulations! This is your new Amazon associate. Your next step. Find all your information where you can change your password, edit your website and mobile app list, edit your website information, link store IDs, manage your tracking IDs, manage your account users and select your primary email address, change your email pref preferences, and your associate side stripe options. Here is where you need to put in your payment and tax information. So you want to set up your tax information first. The tax information interview. Find your spoken language. Choose your language. To know are you an individual or are you a business? Individuals include sole proprietors or single members LLCs where the owner is an individual. Are you a U.S. citizen, a U.S. permanent resident, green card holder, or other U.S. resident alien? For me, the answer is no. Are you acting as an intermediate agent or another person receiving payment on behalf of another person or as a flow-through entity? The answer is no. For me. If you are in the U.S., you use the yes and yes. And the mailing address is the same as a print address. So just click on that. I have a non-USTIN or I have a USTIN. So basically, a foreign TIN to the tax identification agency for purposes of identification and tracking payments for the federal taxes. Common examples are SIN for Canada, PAN for India, a reference number or, or Japan corporation number. Please provide the tax identification number issued by your local tax authority in order to be eligible for any reductions on 30% statutory withholding tax rate applicable to your U.S. source payments. Okay, so this does not apply to me, so I have a non-U.S. And then I'm going to click on continue. So this does not apply to me. So why are you not able to provide a TIN? The country where I'm liable to pay taxes does not issue TINs to its residents. I applied for a TIN. I, couldn't, I could not have not attained from the local authorities because of other reasons. So the country where I am liable because I'm in Canada. And in Canada it's called an SIN. So I'm just going to click on the continue. Now, here is where you need to read all of this information. Under penalties of perjury, I clear that I have examined the information on this form, best of my knowledge, belief it is true, correct, and complete. I further certify under penalties of perjury, I am the individual, the beneficial owner, the person named on line one. The form relates to the person named on line one of this form, resident of the treaty country listed on, not, on line nine, which is Canada. And he, I certify that I have the capacity to sign for the person identified on line one. And this and today's date and make sure all your fields are properly and related to income do not forget this one all services will perform be performed outside the all services performed inside services will be partially performed inside and outside so i'm just going to click on all services will be performed outside the U.S. So make sure that you have everything clicked properly and then click on save and preview.
This is important. Before you can get paid, you need to make sure you do this tax. Now, here is something. Because I am in Canada, I will be filling out a W-8-B-E-N. If you are in the United States, you do not fill that out. So you want to do your name, make sure the country, and the city. If your mailing address is different, city, city or town, state, include postal code where appropriate. Okay, and your mailing address if it's different. Claim of tax treaty benefits. I certify that I, I certify that the beneficial owner is a residence within the meaning of the income tax treaty between the United States and that country. Certification under penalties of perjury. I certify that I have the capacity to sign for the person identified in line one. I believe this is already checked. Yes. And then this is your signature. The date and a printed copy of your name and then you submit the form. Okay. Now you want to exit the interview. Now because I already have an account, I don't want to actually create another account. So I am going to go into my account and show you the payment and to show you my payment information. But you will have to go through and also you will get a phone call verifying your telephone number. Sign in. I am, I am using direct deposit. To have your account number and you can call your bank or use the back of your card and call um, call your bank and get this information. You will need your account number, you will need your bank name, the bank currency, what is type of account you have, checking or savings, and uh, because I've already confirmed my account number, I'm not playing around with that, and something called a routing number. When you call your bank, depending on what country you are in, you will ask them for a routing number. And I'm just going to, you can, I can see that there's no information here. So the best thing to do is to call your bank. Now, you can also get paid by Amazon gift card, or you can get paid by check. If you choose getting paid by check, you will be paying a $15 processing fee. And here it will then ask you your, for U.S. tax purposes, or are you a U.S. person? For me, it is no. After you have filled in the information, you will be asked to receive a phone call to verify your information. So you will just follow that instruction. So we're just going to go back to this one here to show you. Now it's asking me to sign in again. So. This is where you're going to put your phone number in and it will send a one-time password. Now you have your account. You can now see your menus. Home, product linking, product links, banners, a link to any page, promotions, idea hub, your tools. This is your side stripe. And I'm going to be creating another video because this one is long enough for you and showing you how to use your side stripe, which is this right here. This will give you your affiliate links. And I am going to be creating another video as so to you on your WordPress website. How to use the Amazon affiliate links on your own WordPress website. Thank you for watching this video all the way through. 
thank you if you have subscribed to my channel and don't forget to like this video so we can send it out into the you YouTube universe YouTube will see that you have subscribed and you like the video and this will also help my channel if you have your own channel please leave me a link to your channel so I can go to your channel and to help you to grow as well I am looking forward to hanging out with you in my next video.